Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl with another Ildon Ring video. Lots of you guys had issues with Mesmer, I'm going to show you how to beat him. That's my stack right here. I got that for the blood and the rest for the um, uh, the Howl of Shabriri. And then these are my add-ons. Really quick, Shards of Alexander, Rotten uh, Wing Insignia. Uh, everything to do blood and of course uh, with um, that in mind. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly the magic that I'm using. So that's my stack right here. Uh, so I have my reasons for all of them, obviously. Uh, so we're going to do the Howl of Shabriri. And we're going to, you know, that's why I'm wearing uh, the whatever Rahaksha set, <laughs> whatever the heck it's called. Uh, but I'm not wearing the helmet of it. Uh, I'm just trying to get as much as possible. Um, let's just see here. Make sure I've got a good deck here. Yeah, that's about right. Mm, let's see. I'm going to show you guys just why I do what I do. But I'm going to make it, uh, you're going to see how easy this thing is. Now I'm going to try, you know, just to go to rush it. Uh, so, you know, if you take your time, obviously you're going to do this a hell of a lot better than me. I don't use any stupid shields like most people do on this. Also, I don't have mods. I'm coming into the DLC nice and strong. Uh, so I'm doing what I got to do. So you're, you're not going to see any mods that take like 50% energy out. You're going to see freaking a whole blood build. Uh, the reason why I chose uh, uh, not the Nagakiba for this, but the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the Katana, the Great Katana, whatever that I chose, uh, is because it is longer and for that Tornado, that I'm using that Asha War, um, it it just does a better job because it takes more energy out, and uh, of course doing a, a you know a blood build on that uh, is gonna do freaking wonders. So you're gonna see right here I'm walking right in. I don't know why it does this. Um, oh my God! So there's a glitch in the game, guys, because I have the you know a different <laughs> an entire different armor set. And for some reason, it played my old armor set, which is this, which I lost on purpose so I could do this video. So it's actually repeating my old, uh, so this is a glitch. It's repeating my old uh, armor set. And I really hope that it doesn't go to this armor set when I'm fighting him. But I guess we'll find out right now. What in the hell, how the hell did that happen is beyond freaking me. I don't even know how the heck that's possible. Let's just see what happens. Uh, you guys saw it. I put it... Uh, I don't know what the hell just happened here. Uh, did they not allow me to use that armor set? It just totally defaulted me? Anyways, let's just look at this. <laughs> now that build that's in this video is actually pretty cool, but um, not for a Mesmer fight. I can tell you that. All right, so right here you're going to see you could summon somebody, so that's cool. A lot of people didn't know that. So summon him, then make a turn, then do a double flip, and you should still be fine. You see, it didn't hit you. And he's going to try to do that impalement. Just keep running. Make sure you do target him. I know a lot of people say, well, do target What you do is you run, but the second you run, start to target him right away so you know where the hell he is at all times so you could dodge his stinking attacks. Which are ridiculous, by the way. Uh, and I know now why a lot of you guys have an issue with it. Over here, I'm just going to do my Mimic tier. So now we have two people beating the crap out of it. And from here, I'm just going to just throw some shards at him as much as I can. I mean, you can see right here, it's pretty insane. So you're going to see if it's going to attack... So I could let them pretty much do the majority of the work, but I like to lead by example. And you can see that tornado is doing some major damage. And of course my mimic here is stupid as hell as usual, so he's not doing any of that. Uh, but hopefully he'll learn at some point and will do something. There you go. Finally, mimic here. And he, here we are in the next <laughs> stage. Now you can just allow them to do this and just go, but once he reaches a second, those snakes are all aiming at you, especially with the Howl of Shabriri. Uh, for some reason, they're like glued to you. So just be sure, you know, at this point, you want to get involved. You don't want to, you know, take your distance. 
you want to try to get behind him and then do one of these and then just you know do some damage uh you see i should have filled up my energy here and i'm not because <laughs> my dude just killed him <laughs> You can see all these goodies that we're getting here. And that's about it. I mean, really, nothing more to it. Really simple. Piece of cake. That's it. <laughs> so, guys, you literally saw how quick I dealt with them. A lot of people do it with shields and pick and move and pick and move. That couldn't be more freaking annoying. This, get, this fight will last you hours more than it should and it makes no sense to do that absolutely zero freaking sense so you could just go right up to him none of that stupid thing and you could just dodge it with the roll just time it that first explosion i know some people put that big bubble fire up on there it barely takes any energy that's easy. it's not even worth it just get the hell out of there and then dodge every freaking attack that he does as you're walking around and then let that summon beat him up a little bit and he'll be focused fixated on him and then just summon uh, the the tier when you're nice and safe and then you got two people kicking his butt and taking his name and then afterwards you're just slashing at him whenever the heck you want you don't even need to in the beginning you could just kind of dodge him and just have them do all the work but you know it's much quicker when you're in it um and then of course you know right <laughs> right after that uh, what you do you just pretty much just get the hell out of there and that's it i thought if i exhaust his uh speech here but uh i don't think anything happens here so, so oh man I'm so tired oh such an easy kill um <laughs> but that that's all you really got to do guys you get involved but in the second um second phase you really want to get involved uh, because those snakes are all aiming for you. They don't care about your mimic tier. They don't care about your summon dude. They will kill them both easy, but they will mostly focus on you. And those things are very, very quick. So just look for your opening. Go with that tornado slash right into him over and over again. Just no mercy, you know, no mercy, as uh, Sensei Kreese said. And that's all she wrote, y'all. But anyways, I'm going to show you the additions to it. So have a good one, y'all. If you like what you see, like, subscribe. Hit that bell, uh, bell button. Share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. And stay tuned for many more Ring videos and a ton of other things. Uh, have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.
as always, guys, if you like what you see, stuff funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxing to technology and, uh, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.